Hi, I'm Laura Stewart, board member of Indian River Impact 100, and we are here with Sandy Baker, who worked on the ORCA grants um, when they received it for the Kilroy Academy. Yes. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having me. Love to hear how it impacted your life and the lives of others because you were part of it. Um, the Impact 100 grant helped Kilroy Academy get started. It started with um, Dr. Witter's vision to educate students with um, lagoon awareness and um, conservation. So she put together a team of teachers that developed educational resources to pull into the school to kind of give that awareness to students. So I worked as a math teacher writing resources to go along with her website and videos that she's developed and um, we developed as a team of teachers and incorporated in the classroom. So I found um, that using these types of, um, what do I want to say? Um, hold on a second. Can I have a timeout? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I, I remember you said something like, about what? kids don't like logarithms. Oh, that's right. That's and right. I thought that was so cool when you said that. Um, because it, it, it doesn't make sense, right? Like, it did, what's a logarithm? A lot of, why like, would you use okay, it? algebra two, upper level math. There's a lot of math that you really. Why do I have to learn this stuff? I'll never kind use of thing, it. I'll never use it. And so by creating these types of things and showing people that scientists are actually using these things, so logarithms was one of the biggest things because kids don't like it and they're like, well, what do we have to use it for? And so we developed um, an activity that showed how marine scientists use logarithms and with light and depth in the water and everything. So it just kind of piggybacked from there. So that's really cool. So you worked with Dr. Witter mm -hmm. to actually bring it into the classrooms, how marine science and math Well, and it was a, Kilroy is a STEAM initiative actually, so science, technology, engineering, art, and math. Mm -hmm. So there were, on our board of teachers for Kilroy Academy, there were teachers from all of those different parts. Okay. So I specifically worked on the math part. And you said you're still doing work with that and bringing what you learned from integrating the two into the classroom now? How is that happening? I am. Um, I'm still working with ORCA writing resources um, th through COSI is um, another science research and they're developing videos, episodes, and I'm developing um, curriculum to go along with that as well. So I like tides, trigonometry, things like that. Students don't really understand why they have to learn it. So if you can give them the backbone and show them this is how tides work, it's all trigonometry or um, a sea turtle population. You know, do statistics with something, a cute little sea turtle, and show them the hatchings and, you know, the hatchling videos and all that kind of stuff. Do you actually get to take the kids out and watch the sea turtles? I wish, I wish. And a lot of um, my students, I teach at Sebastian River High School, and a lot of them ask me, have you seen it? Have you done it? And, you know, I've never witnessed it personally, and then the kids all have stories. Oh, we went to the resort, and we've seen it, and we've done the walk in, in the evening and all that kind of th stuff. So it's neat that they attach their personal um, experiences with it and then it sticks with them more. So it sounds like you've been changed because you got involved with the Kilroy and, and the way you're teaching Yes, has absolutely. Make it more relevant, makes them think about it more, want to learn it, and then they learn it better. And you do need to do take a turtle walk. <laughs> I, I, did, worth it. I did it last year. <laughs> it was one of the best things I ever did. I've lived here my whole life and never done it. It's time. It's Crazy. turtle nesting season. <laughs> so what's what's next with what you're doing with Orca to integrate into the schools? Um, I'm just still on the back end of it, trying okay. writing curriculum materials and using my classroom as kind of an experiment. You know, tweaking things here and there, seeing what works and what doesn't work. Um, you know, everything from worksheets for videos to demonstrations to powerpoints to note taking guides. Anything that we can tie to the lagoon to make a student realize how important it is to conserve our ecosystem here. Especially with everything that's happening right now with the yes. algae and everything. <laughs> you, you must be trying to figure out how to integrate that into the We program. are. Um, the Kilroy water monitoring device actually is measuring real time. And so um, the next thing I was working on was with oysters and um, it filters the oysters filter the water. So I'm trying to see how we can get students to understand the importance of oyster reefs by using the Kilroy data real time so they can pull it from the website and then do some statistical analysis. So I'm trying to make my way into that now. That's cool. Yeah. So Kilroy is still out there mm -hmm. helping us get data right yes. now as to what's going on with the ecosystem. Absolutely. I love that.
didn't have any of that when I was going to school. <laughs> <laughs> it was a book. You it read the book, book, and you know, and we did trig and geometry, mm -hmm. and nobody tied it to tides, and I never thought about it. But yeah, trigonometry mm -hmm. and the tides are really great. You must be an amazing teacher. Oh, thank you. I'd like to think so. <laughs> <laughs> Last thought you'd like to share? Um, I just wanted to thank Impact 100 because it has changed how I teach and how students are learning, and I'm happy to have been a part of that. Well, we're happy that you were a part, and I wish I had you as one of my teachers. <laughs> so thank, thank you. you so much.